Welcome to Paraben Z3 Platform, Windows 10 Data Triage. When looking at large volumes of data that can exist in examination, it's a value to be able to focus on specific areas that might yield you the highest results quickly. Typically, the most valuable data comes from 20% of the overall volume of the data we process. The data triage function of the E3 platform focuses on that 20% of the data that might be the most valuable for quick review. Data triage data is available for both computers and mobile data in the E3 platform. In this video, we will demonstrate the data associated with a computer image. The data triage data we are going to go through and show you the basics on are associated with email databases, chat databases, internet browser data, my documents, media data links, voice search commands, cloud storage, apps, and we're going to break the registry data into certain categories and details for you to look at with extensive research. As with the expanding world of digital data, we're constantly adding new data to our data triage section of the E3 platform. So check back often with new releases to see what new artifacts we've added for you. Now we'll have Edwin, the digital avatar of E3, walk you through the process of data triage. Hello and welcome. I am Edwin, the digital avatar for Parabin's electronic evidence examiner platform. I will be your guide as we explore the powerful and intuitive functions of E3. In this video we will explore the functions of data triage. This function allows you to investigate system or physical drive evidence much easier and faster. Electronic Evidence Examiner auto detects the important data in the drive registry and displays it in the subnodes of the data triage node. In the subnodes, you can view the following Email databases, Chat databases. Internet browser data. The My Documents folders. SQL like databases, which show the paths to the user's media collections. Folders with Cortana search suggestions, search results, and voice commands. Files from cloud storage repositories and folders with Windows apps, and Windows packages. The past, registry, data section, includes information on the state of the registry at the moment the physical, or system drive, was acquired. In the past, registry, data section, you can view the following. Information about the auto-run programs. The operating system information, including the name, version, time zone, etc. Explorer, shell extensions, and toolbars. The list of installed programs. The list of Windows services, location of the dump file temp folders, etc. The location of DLLs. Information about the network, wireless connections, and remote desktop. Win, log on information. The list of the mounted devices, including storage devices. Cache and SAM registry, Hive content, possible email address locations, and information about the existing Windows users, including the last logged on user.